Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my new Balkan Architect course. So for this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course and I do one course each week, they are all over one hour long and you can find them on my Patreon. First a link in the description of this video to get the full course. And in this week's course I'm going to be talking about graphics in Revit. Usually graphics in Revit can be quite difficult, quite challenging and also quite annoying. Uh, just because it's kind of difficult to, to set everything up. It's not like AutoCAD where you use the, basically the same approach to change the graphics of everything, to change the uh, layers, the lines, the the hatches and all of that. In Revit it, looks, uh, it works a bit differently and it's a bit more complicated. But as soon as you get the hang of it, it's really fun and you can really kind of make your drawings and, and uh, all of your models and all of your presentation sheets a lot more fun and a lot more interesting interesting and then you can replicate that in the future quite easily. You just have to set it up once and then you can reuse it all the time and create some amazing graphics. So let's switch to my computer and I'm going to be showing you what the course is all about. So I'm showing you how to create a presentation panel. Now presentation panels they're usually done. Uh, they're usually not done in Revit. In Revit, you do kind of drafting. Uh, you, you you do all of your drafting views and all of your sheets for maybe the builders and things like that to get all of the project licenses. But for presentation panels, for maybe client presentations or for uh, something like I don't know school project or especially for competitions, architectural competitions, you need something that looks like this. And this is uh, usually done in Photoshop. You would just use the views from Revit and then export to Photoshop and then assemble it there. But here I show you how to create this thing in Revit. So I show you how to create this uh, lovely looking presentation panel as you can see over here. And we have a, a rendering, we have a nice background with the sky all the way to the top. Here we have just uh, some sort of a uh, some sort of a title for this. Of course, you would make it more interesting and fit the project. In this case, I just said presentation panel to fit the topic of this uh, tutorial or course. Then here we have a floor plan over that and as you can see, it's fitting into the background. Same thing with the section. Uh, if you can see here between the trees and the section, it's actually fitting in pretty nicely. So I show you how to create this uh, presentation sheet. It's uh, quite difficult, and but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to kind of reuse it in the future. And it's not a conventional approach and that's what makes it so interesting and that's why we have this interesting view. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the this 3D view effect. So as you can see on this image, this is quite a popular look, quite a popular view to do, especially for competitions, student presentations, clients presentations. And it's the idea where you have your rendering and then you can uh, make this cutout around and then you have just one thing exited out and it's like gives you a bit of a perspective or a 3D view or an illusion that uh, parts of the rendering are kind of popping out of the screen just going out so that that looks really cool and it's quite difficult to replicate that in Revit just because Revit has a quite rigid uh, uh, quite rigid cropping uh, tools and it can usually be only rectangular and uh, especially for renderings it can only be a strict rectangle so I show you a little hack a little workaround how can you create something that looks like this and in Revit we do that here with the sample project as you can see here we have a circle around the house and then we have our approach kind of masked off and that looks really cool at least if you ask me. Okay, moving on, and this is the final thing that I cover in this course, and that's kind of advanced graphics for your particular views. So usually you have your boring drafting views, but here I show you how to look, make it look a bit more interesting. So we have a nice cool cloud background, uh, then here for that hatch for the ground, I change that into something more interesting, and it's a system change, so it will change for each future project that you do like this. Also. I show you how to change the grid lines. So as you can see, the grid line symbol isn't that ugly like circle with the number in the middle. It's this more interesting like kind of a thicker line. It's it's quite common, uh, but not of course with Revit just because uh, Revit comes with those ugly circles that nobody likes. Also here we change the elevation level. No more ugly like across air circles. So we have that. It looks more interesting. Also we've added some people and I talk especially about people. The 2D 
people and the 3D people, what's the difference when to use each other, what are some of the benefits of 2D people, what are some of the benefits of 3D people, and also the downsides of both types. So these are both uh, two different families, so I'll show you how to place them and how to edit, it, edit them if necessary. And then also I show you how to do the finishing touches like adding this sun over here, which is actually a uh, just a filled region, but usually filled regions come with an outline and as you can see this sun doesn't really have an outline, so I show you a trick on how to do that. So you can do maybe just additional presentation and uh, like diagram views inside of your model and things like that. So all of this I cover in, a, in the course, it's like five hours, uh, it's like one hour and five minutes long. So so check it out, first link in the description. Also there you can find all of my Revit project files. I have 300 files so far and I have 28 courses that are all over one hour long and they all cover advanced Revit topics. So if you want to learn Revit, that's place to go. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this little quick announcement about, my, about this week's course and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.